Learning to place images is vital for any kind of compositing workflow. I'll quickly show you how to place images into existing documents when using Affinity Photo on iPad. There are two distinct approaches to placing images, via the Commands menu and drag drop. I'll cover using the Commands menu first. So I'll tap here to open the menu, then tap Place. I can place an image from my Photos library or from the Files browser. I'll choose Place from Files. Then I would navigate to where the image I wish to place is stored and tap to open it. I can now tap once to place the image at its full resolution. This will use the tap location as the origin point for the center of the image. I'll also just quickly show you my layer stack. I previously had the Planet 1 layer selected, so my placed image has now been brought in just above this layer. I'll delete my new placed image by tapping here on the Layers panel, then go to place it again. This time, rather than using a single tap, I will tap drag. This lets me determine the initial size of the placed image. Once I'm happy with the size, I can release my finger. I'll delete the layer again, and this time I'll use a drag drop approach. So I'll move out to the Files app, tap hold to select this image, then move back to Affinity Photo and release my finger over the document. I'll scale and reposition this image layer, then I'll set its blend mode to screen, which will blend it nicely into the composition. It is worth noting that all transformations on layers in the Affinity apps are intrinsically non-destructive. This includes image layers. So for example, I could scale this layer all the way down and rotate it, select a different layer and a different tool, such as the paintbrush tool, then go back to this scorched planet layer, select the move tool, and scale the image back up and rotate it with no loss in quality whatsoever. The layer transforms do not have to be explicitly committed and you do not need to ensure that pixel or image layers have any particular attributes for them to be transformed non-destructively. Now I'll show you how to place multiple images at the same time, which is useful for populating visualization scenes among other workflows. Rather than use the Commands menu option, I'll use the drag drop approach to save time. I'll select these five images and drag drop them onto the document. Now because I've chosen multiple images to place, the place panel appears on the right hand side. I can choose which image to place first by selecting it on the panel. I'll zoom in here and drag out my chosen cutout image at an appropriate scale. I'll drag out the next image to the right of the first one, but I might change my mind upon seeing the result. I can quickly undo using a two finger tap. This will not only undo the image placement step, but will also add the image back onto the place panel in case we wish to use it again. I'll select this image and tap drag to place it. Then I'll select the next image and place it over here. And finally, I'll place the woman with the camera cut out over here. I might decide I don't wish to use the remaining image at all. So I can simply tap here to exit image placement and close the place panel. And there we go. That was a video on how to place images in Affinity Photo on iPad. Thank you for watching.